I'm Michelle Ralston. I'm with Greater Cincinnati Waterworks. I'm here today with Jeff Vogt, one of our water quality chemists. Jeff's going to talk to us a little bit about uh, the water treatment process. So Jeff, tell me where Waterworks receives its water, its source water, where it comes from, and a little bit about the first stage or two in the water treatment process. I would love to, Michelle. Thank you. The process begins in the Ohio River. That's our source where we have a series of intake structures where the water is pumped out of the river, uphill, to the first step in the process. That first step in the process, the purpose of the first step in the process is to remove what we call suspended solids and or suspended particles that are in the water. We do, the, do this through the addition of chemicals that actually speed up the settling process of these particles, separating the water from the solids. After that step, we go through a settling process, which is what these basins are right here, where the water and the solids are allowed more time to separate themselves prior to the sand filtration of the water. We are now in the GAC building of Greater Cincinnati Waterworks Richard Miller Treatment Plant. GAC is granular activated carbon, and it's a very important step in the water treatment process uh, for Cincinnati Waterworks customers. So Jeff, tell me what GAC is and actually how it works. process of filtering all their water with granular activated carbon. So after the water has been sand filtered and the suspended particles are removed from the water, the water is filtered through 11 feet of granular activated carbon. This carbon acts as a sponge and tends to adsorb organic matter that should be removed from the water to improve the process. The carbon will reach a point of saturation where it could no longer adsorb these organic this organic matter, and the carbon needs to be reactivated. We have the benefit of having furnaces on site where the carbon is thermally reactivated, which pretty much brings the carbon back to a new state and it puts right back in service. Now also, from what I understand, the reactivation process is pretty unique. Waterworks is only one of the few in the country that actually has on-site reactivation. That is correct. We're one of the first in the country to employ GAC filtration, and at the same time, putting reactivation under our total control with this treatment. After the GAC process is completed, the water is then sent through a disinfection process. Jeff, tell me a little bit about disinfection. I uh, would love to, Michelle. Disinfection is the most important step in the process. It assures that no bacteria is growing from the point of leaving this plant to the time it is delivered to our customer's tap. We disinfect with chlorine gas in the Richard Miller treatment plant used for over 100 years. It's very reliable and a very effective system. In the near future, though, the Greater Cincinnati Waterworks will be employing an additional state-of-the-art technology here at this plant, where we will use ultraviolet light as a disinfection process along with chlorine. This will give us, at the treatment plant, a multi-barrier approach to disinfection. So after the disinfection process is completed, the water is ready to be sent out and distributed to all of the customers. And from what I understand, a lot that goes into the distribution process, Jeff. That is very true, Michelle. We have over 3,000 pipes in the ground that are used to distribute the water to our customers. We have over 40 tanks, pump stations, and water towers that are also located out of the system. The water is transported through water mains like this. This is a 60-inch water main. It's one of our bigger pipes. The purpose of a transmission main is to deliver, obviously, large quantities of water across the region which move water to other distribution pipes that bring it into the customer's house.